Four are dead after a shooting in Cambria County overnight. More details are surfacing as the investigation unravels. Three of those who died are said to be all related. Good evening and thank you for joining us. The homeowner is the only one who survived. He told police he shot and killed two intruders after they turned the gun on his wife and his son. Now authorities say one of those intruders was his own daughter and son-in-law. Carrie Corrado has been following this story. She is live now with the very latest. Carrie. Now, when I got to the scene early Saturday morning, the road was blocked off and we couldn't even get through to see their house. But today we're starting to learn new details. State police telling us more about what happened inside that house that left four people dead. We have a situation. It appears to be a shooting, a home invasion type of situation. Cambria County District Attorney Kelly Callahan and state police say four people are dead following a shooting that took place at this home on Bottom Road, Cambria County, around 10 o'clock Friday night. The house looked untouched when daylight broke. It appears to be a family uh, related incident. State police say they received a call from the homeowner saying that two people broke into his house and shot and killed his wife and adult son. The homeowner told police he then shot the intruders. Callahan addressed the media early Saturday morning. She believes that one of the unidentified intruders was the homeowner's daughter and the other the daughter's husband. And we believe that uh, a, a daughter and another actor appeared here. Um, then there was an altercation that occurred and there was some shooting and a lot of these individuals are now deceased. State police haven't released identities, but say the 64 year old wife, 47 year old son and daughter's husband were found shot to death inside the house. The daughter was shot in the head, but was still alive when state police arrived. She died shortly after at UPMC Altoona. Callahan says the homeowner survived with no injuries and was interviewed by police shortly after the shooting. But she wants to stress that the situation is under control and there is no threat to the public. That the public understands that there's no gunman on the loose, there's no risk here. Now there's still a lot of unanswered questions like who the people were, what the motive was, but this is going to continue to be an ongoing investigation. There will be a press conference tomorrow, so we'll bring you the very latest then. Live in Cambria County, Kerry Corrado, 6 News.